Hey there, if you want to create an Upwork portfolio, you are in the right place. So first of all, guys, you want to go into Upwork.com and in here, you want to look for find talent. What I'm going to do here is first of all, I'm going to sign up with my Google account. If you don't have an account, you can always click down below in the link that I'm going to leave you. Uh, so after you sign up with, in my case, I'm going to sign up with Google. And once I sign it up, what I want to do here is to look to find talents. I want to find, uh, let's say for example, that I want to look for someone that signs logos in here. So for example, I want to choose this, this guy and I'm going to click into his personal account. So as you can see, here's the profile. He's a web designer, graphic designer, and I'm going to choose all work. So as you can see, this person has a lot a really 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 a lot of stuff written here but I didn't see like a lot of work history if you can see there's a lot of work history in progress and down here it's the portfolio so as you can see speaking about the portfolio it's actually really really um, let's say it's not very great uh, this is the project catalog so what I want to do is to take a look into how does the competition is introducing to the world so I don't want to copy paste. I mean, I just want to take inspiration and see what's working with them and what's not. So speaking about this kind of people, for example, he has more than 2000 projects into our work. All right. So now that I have here a, a specific, let's say, for example, like an idea of how my niche, how my competition is working into our work, what I want to do is to create something. Uh, let's say that can be a little bit more interesting to upload into Upwork so I can get more chances of getting hired. And for that is to adding something into my portfolio. So as you can see, if I go into the logo design services, I'm going to see like the most um, featured designs have been created so far. So what I want to do is to look for a pattern here. So as you can see, it says project by price all logo design project and what I want to do is to look for a pattern as you can see there's no red color so I want to try to use that as an advantage to my services so I can so I can get more chances of people to look to my portfolio and for this specific situation what I'm going to be using is Canva now since Canva is totally for free in my case I'm going to be using a Canva Pro section so I don't recommend you guys to stick around with the Canva free version because it's a limited edition and there are a few tools that I use a lot in order for like let's say improving a little bit more my portfolio so I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description guys so you can check out your 14 day trial of the Canva Pro and see if this one fits for your work fits for you and you can see if this one is valuable or not. So I'm going to create a design and here into custom size, I'm going to choose 19 to 20. So now that I'm in here, the last thing that I need to do is to create is to create or import the most amazing logo design that I have so far. So just for example, and this is just a very quick example. Let's say that this is something that I create myself, right? So what I want to do here is to choose this background color and change the background color into something a little bit more with this colors. So what's going to happen here is that this color is going to be highlighted more in the feature part of the Upwork project. So as you can see, if I see all the Upworks that are available in here, I'm going to go into the Explore Academy. So as you can see, there's no red logos. So I can import here my logo design. And once I download my work, I can go back into my profile, go into the project catalog. And here, what I can do is to create a project. So I'm going to choose create a project and I just need to import my project image, which in our case is this one. So once again, guys, I'm just going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can check out the Canva Pro version. If you want to stick around with Canva free version, I mean, you can totally do that. You can just use a few stuff that are totally for free in here, but I can strongly recommend you guys to stick around with the Canva Pro version so you can have more chances to get contracted, to get hired here into the Upwork section. So I can do a lot of projects here into Canva and I just need to import that into Upwork and it could be it was really, really easy to do that. So there you have it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this kind of tips into Upwork. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I will see you next time.